Happy Thursday. I am running a little late here. Uh, I'm going to be doing my weekly reading. I know I'm coming on a little bit late. I have Instagram and Facebook on here live at the same time, so I'm trying to do both of you guys. Um, I am coming on here late due to me being in Florida. I had a blast in Florida. Loved being with all of you goddesses and the workshops that I did. I saw, God, probably over 150 people when I was there. Uh, it was so lovely too. Anybody here, hey Doreen, see you. It was awesome seeing you in Florida. Um, anybody here that is in a state that, like I've been in California where there's everything shut down, it's just very uh, yucky here. Hey Susan, um, and there's different states doing different things. I would highly suggest go to Florida if you can make it ASAP because it really was awesome to be in the energy of people being back connected and not in fear-based and just being in the powerful, beautiful energy shift right now of Florida. So I would highly suggest it. It's gonna help you in so many ways. It was amazing to be there. Hey Richard, hey Sadie. Hey Susan, it was great seeing you too. So um, I'm gonna be doing my weekly reading here. That's why I'm coming a little bit late. I know we're on Thursday, so I'm just gonna do it you know, for the rest of the days, even into the weekend here. Wanna let everybody know too, my goddess retreat was amazing. It was so much fun. And um, lots of you have been asking about my Sedona retreat. I should have all information by the end of this uh, weekend, by this weekend, and it's gonna be open to men too. My fiance is coming, super excited to have men come. And um, so also if this resonates with you, so it's gonna be women and men, singles, couples, whatever, and whoever this resonates to you, it's gonna be a huge healing in Sedona. I'm doing it May 14th, that week there, um, probably about three, four nights. I'll have all information here coming here soon. I expect lots of power, lots of releasing, and lots of clarity, and lots of healing in this um, retreat. So if Sedona's been calling you, if this is something that resonates to you, I'm excited to be sharing that with you. We'll be working with tons of energy, tons of um, past life healing, womb healing, which means all of us have been in the mother healing, a lot of mother-dad healing. Um, we'll also be working with Earth, Mother Earth. Uh, I feel, too, a lot of shamanic stuff will be coming up, too. If you haven't been to any, hey Kenya, if you haven't been to any of my re retreats or workshops, those of you that have been, you know that I'm very straightforward and I channel everything. So whoever shows up, that's how my retreats, everybody always asks me, well, what time are they? I always have a start time at each day, but I love, I let spirit predict everything. So I let spirit just take control. And so the end time could be different, but I always do whatever spirit tells me to do. So that's why each retreat is totally different. Even if you come to the same goddess retreat that many of my goddesses have come to, they say each time is so different. That's because it's up to spirit. So I'm excited to be doing my Sedona one here. Hey Jess. Uh, but anyways, hey Kenya, hola, hola to you guys. So let's go on with this weekly reading. One other thing too, I want to let everybody know my uh, Manifesting Magic private Facebook group. Love to teach you guys how to manifest. And has anybody been noticing how things are just really lining up and shifting and shaking for you and how like synchronicity is lining up right now? Even though we're in Mercury retrograde right now, it's a great time where things will just really be surfacing. And make sure to check out my SoundCloud, my radio show. Um, we have, you know, everybody thinks that right now, I'll just say right now with the United States, everybody thinks like, oh, we're just rolling by, everything's normal. Well, there is still gonna be a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of truth coming up. Um, I actually feel by the end of March, I even see us looking by the end of March and be like, oh my God, like all this stuff has just changed a lot. So I will try to be keep on uh, doing my updating weekly updates on my podcast on SoundCloud, SoundCloud and you look up Vicki Luna's show. Um, on there too. I've been channeling like crazy and it's just been coming so much. So make sure you check those out and prayers going to everybody. I know weather is crazy right now. If you're in a snowstorm, I hope you guys have electricity and I, I heard it's crazy. My flight actually got canceled on the way back here because of Texas. And uh, so my prayers go out to all you guys. Knowing that right now, this is a huge clearing time. Mother Nature is also a part of this. Um, Mother Nature isn't angry at us. I get this all the time that Mother Nature is angry. Mother Nature is energy. And she's clearing and purging and just shifting the energy out right now. I actually feel some earthquakes coming up, especially even where I live here. I'll, I'm, I can really connect to Earth and I love connecting to Mother Earth. Um, but knowing that this is a time of severe change and it will keep on changing. A lot of people think that since 2021 came in that, you know, oh, everything's just done. When is the new normal going to happen? There is never, ever a normal. And just knowing that, um, I'll keep you guys up to date, though. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, too. So I have um, my Manifesting Magic group again that is coming back 
I don't know what happened here. Oh my God, hold on one minute. My phone's possessed over here. So I have this phone um, that you guys are on in Instagram and it just like calls people, deletes people. I was kayaking in Florida and it called 911. And I got this phone call back, I didn't know, right? And I get this phone call in a kayak from 911 and they're like, what's your emergency? And I'm like, what, what emergency? So my phone just does all kinds of things. So I don't know if it'll stay on here on Instagram. I'm doing my weekly reading for those of you that just joined. Uh, but my Manifesting Magic group is open. Many people have been asking about starting March 1st. You can come back into Manifesting Magic group. It's a private Facebook group online teaching you how to manifest, uh, doing soul work on there, and also weekly readings for just that private group. So that is launching back March 1st. So it's my Goddess Empowerment group. So you can also join it then too. Okay. I love my top. Thank you. Um, I got it in Florida. It's so funny. I go to Florida. And, you know, living in California, everything's so expensive here. So every time I'm in Florida, I bring a little bit bigger suitcase because when I come back, I have a whole bunch of clothes. It's so fun to shop over there. Um, not only, you know, they have a great, they have a lot of this stuff, but they also have a lot of different stuff, but it's a lot cheaper than California too. Okay, so let's see here what's coming up this week. Ooh, this is a pretty. And I do feel, just so you guys know, um, when it comes to the weather, because I did predict the storms too, you have to look at my past um, stuff, but um, I do feel that there is going to definitely be more storms. This is all a clearing month, uh, and we're also in Mercury retrograde too, so your exes, anybody here, exes come in back into their life? It could be also ex-friendships, it doesn't necessarily have to be relationships. It could be ex-bosses, or people you worked with, or maybe some, you know, I just saw a lot of the people from my past um, in Florida, that was also a way of people from your past coming back into your life too. That can also happen right now. I've been seeing tons of that. Um, that's what happens during Mercury retrograde. But knowing the weather is gonna continue on, I see um, some more powerful shifts of storms coming in. So just everybody be prepared. Uh, and then I see cleansing and clearing. So then I see like maybe um, a lot of rain, um, a lot of snow, a lot of uh, shifting and flooding and clearing because uh, I do feel some earthquakes coming here. Like I said, I've been feeling them. It's crazy. Like sometimes I have to be like, okay, is this happening right now? And then like, boom, I'll happen a couple of days later. Um, and I feel it's going to be here in California too for those of you that live here. And I live in Santa Barbara, California. So I feel it's going to be close to here. I'm not really scared of earthquakes. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. Um, and I just always know that spirit has my back. So no matter what, just listen to your intuition. Whoa, third eyes, definitely. Okay, so let's see what's coming up this week. Lots of power shifting. Whoa, holy moly. Okay, so number one, we have Don. Uh, I, wow. So know that you're protected. I feel like this is a big time, especially for everybody, and, you know, chaos happening right now in your life. Call on your angels, call on your guides, call on God, whoever spirit is to you, but know that you're protected. Know that um, even when shit, happens just know that you're still you're you're protected you're safe and I actually feel you're going to start trusting more this is the week that I see you're going to start feeling lighter even when all this stuff is going on around you you're going to be like "Ooh, I'm starting to see the signs I'm starting to see the symbols like open your eyes up to there's always signs and symbols all around you at all times opening your eyes to those things uh being really aware of the universe sending you symbols listening you know quit talking so much and just listen and see and be an, an aware, aware, I, oh, I cannot talk. Um, I'm still in jet lag too, by the way. Um, I also see third eye starting to come up. I actually see fear starting to dissipate, starting, not all the way, but starting. And that's the one thing I want everybody to know is you are in, your life is all about the energy you're surrounded in. That is what conforms you. That is what you will manifest and that's what you'll bring to you. So one of the one things that I loved when I was in Florida, in California, Florida, I used to live in Florida, so now I live in California and um, I traveled a lot this, this summer even with COVID. I'm not in fear of COVID, first of all. Um, you know, I just was with Florida, saw many people, I'm fine, I'm going to stay fine. Um, I actually believe I had COVID last year anyways. Uh, so with that being said is the energy around it, it was really surprising to me because California and other democratic states and other states that are really closed down and shut down and brainwashing people, it, it, social media is seriously brainwashing people and it just really amazes me. We had a commercial that says, um, 
I don't watch a lot of TV, but it said, don't accidentally kill someone. And I'm like, what? That is the most craziest thing to put out there. Don't accidentally kill someone. Uh, we have this on our commercials in, in California. That is insane. It is so bad how sublinguish they're, they're, they're going in there with the commercials and the TV and the fear, and they're just really sitting into your consciousness. And you may not even realize this because that is the energy that's going into your mindset. Whether you think it affects you or not, it eventually will because it will eventually soak in. And then it's what happens is wherever you're in the energy and the environment, you start taking that on. So if you're in the energy and environment of fear and um, anger and, you know, everything's been shut down here in California, shut down more than Florida. I mean, now we're 20% outside and, and whatever, the restaurants is still nothing. Um, when you go, when I went to Florida, it was really amazing on, nobody even thought of COVID. Like nobody was really in the fear aspect. Like right now in California, like people stand six feet away and I just still crack up at the six feet thing away, but they stand six feet away. They think this little mask is going to save them. And they're just in this whole fear belief. And so their whole life, and I'm not, I'm not trying to pick on anybody, but it's what I'm saying is if you're in that energy of fear, if you're in that energy of, you know, not everything's gonna be okay, and you're in this sabotaging energy, that's what you're gonna keep bringing to you. And there's gonna be really hard to get out in that environment. So when you get out into the environment of people that are positive and uplifting and magical, that's what's gonna come into your lifetime. So it's really important to look at your energy that's surrounding you right now. And being, um, I don't know, see, I already told you my phone here. I'm trying to go on my phone there. Uh, my phone over here is possessed. So yeah, see, it's just trying <laughs> if I could show you guys my phone over here, I'm on Instagram and it's just like, yeah, it just does whatever. It just turned itself around. It's making some comments. It may be, it may shut me off. So I don't know here. Just being aware and getting into alignment. My big message here is get into alignment that what makes you feel good, shines you up, gets you into your power. Hey, Hathy, Heather. And get out of the fear um, and you're going to be okay. Like this is really dissipating. The stress is going to dissipate. Um, I actually feel you're going to feel a lot calmer, a lot peacer, but you got to go where that is. Peacer. Do you like that word peacer? I just made that up. Uh, you got to go where that is. So it was just lovely to be in Florida where it was just, everybody's out shopping, like no masks, like, and I know each city is totally different too. I was in Fort Myers and Naples. Tampa was a little bit more um, strict. But knowing that what is all out there, whether it's COVID or the people that are, you know, lack consciousness or the people that are draining you or the work that's draining you, not you, that is really going to take away from your life and you're going to start manifesting from that source. So you really want to get into the peace. And that's where I see this week is really start thinking about what lights me up. You know, who are the people that really bring that positiveness to my life? And if anybody is... Florida is the freedom state. Yes, Genevieve, it is such the freedom state, let me tell you. And I do see, and I, uh, I don't want to go on a tangent, but I will be posting this on my radio show and talking about this in my podcast as I do. Many of the United States will become their own providence and actually will be happening sooner than you guys think. So that will be my next show too. So I do think Florida will be its own little country thing. Actually, Biden's already trying to start that. Um, oh, Heather, I bet you do. I know Heather's away in Australia, and I think Australia's even more strict, I think. I'm not sure here. Okay, so this is this week, but um, the next thing I see is, whoa, you're going to get hit in the head with messages left and right. I actually see spirit, just your third eye is wide awake. So if you've been asking for clarity, this is the week that clarity is going to come in, but it's up to you to be like, oh yeah, I get that. You know, I get this now. It's not like, and I feel like spirit's going to be hitting some of you over the head. Some of you are super stubborn. Some of you are so set in your ways that you see spirit like, like, hello, are you listening yet? You've only heard this song 20 million times or you've only seen this person 20 million times. Um, so you're going to be getting your third eye really awakened um, here this week. Very strict. Yeah, very strict. We have no COVID, Heather. Then why the hell are they strict? It's crazy to me. Um, you know, too, I just found out today. I'll post this later. So COVID, the numerology of COVID, um, I'll have to post it here equals 666, which is the mark of the beast. Just a little food for thought there, guys. I think that's very interesting. Um, anyway, so the next card here is fire, too. I feel you're going to be, I feel some of you are going to be meeting your twin flames. Or if you're in a twin flame relationship, 
I feel it becoming alive and passion and joyful and just like, whoa, this is awesome. This is a big healing week for that. Uh, for those of you that have not met your twin flame and what is a twin flame? I know many of you are going to ask me that. Twin flame is actually, we don't always incarnate together. Twin flame is your soul that separates in two different parts. And twin flame can also be um, a friend. doesn't have to be a loved one, but usually it is a loved one. Hey, Jenny. Um, so... With that being said, when you come to the to you, to the earth, you might not always incarnate with your twin flame. But if you find your twin flame, my fiance is my twin flame, Chandler. And we'll also tell you, twin flames are not always the easiest relationships. They are the ones that are gonna do this. They're gonna make you on fire here. My phone, there we go. Okay, are you guys on Instagram seeing my phone do all this stuff? I don't know. It is possessed for those of you who just came on. It just does, dials things, does things. It does whatever it wants. Um, yeah, Jenny, so you want to meet your twin flame? We'll put it out there because I feel, hi, Diane, glad you met somebody. I feel this week you will be meeting um, even some soulmates. And actually always knowing the more you work with your own healing, this is you healing yourself, the more you're going to attract a relationship of that power, of that uh, level too. I see a lot of... Wow, look how beautiful this card is. I'm just going to show you guys this beautiful card. Can you both see? Yeah. How does this resonate with you? I want you to think of that. Look how beautiful this is. Um, this is also your heart's really going to open up to a higher power this week. You're going to feel more powerful. And you're going to be meeting new people that are going to sit on that level as you too. Knowing that when you close that one door or let go of that ugly relationship or let go of that ugly job, you know, something even bigger and better comes in. This is, this is major power, and this is also major kundalini. So with kundalini, I'm also seeing this week, um, kundalini can get angry, okay? There can be little angry moments to get anger out of your body. Don't judge it. Get into movement and allow it to come out. I see this as a big healing week, too, to really work with kundalini. So do kundalini yoga, kundalini meditation. It will really help open up those all those stuck chakras, which we'll be doing in my Sedona retreat. My Sedona retreat, I feel we're going to really be opening up that power, too, within everybody. And you may meet somebody. That's why I was told to open it up to some, to both women and men. So this will be open up to both women and men. Uh, Sed Sedona, May 14th. Just letting everybody know there. This is calling you. Come hang out. It's going to be a blast. Um, masculine, feminine. Yes. Yes, definitely. This is really connecting to your heart center and opening you up and bringing you into extreme power. I love dragon energy. It's one of my favorite energies. Um, I also see, my friend over here is still growing. I also see a new, like, new perception, new seeing things differently, uh, viewing things differently. Maybe things before you thought were bad, now you're going to see good. You know, knowing that how you see and you look at things, that's what you manifest. Like, I think the world is a beautiful place no matter what shit's going on. We've had war from the beginning of time. We've had shit and drama from the very beginning of time. And if you want to look at it like that, then that's what you get more in your life. But if you see it as a beautiful place that you get to enjoy and play in this beautiful playground of earth and beauty, then you will bring more of that into your life. And then the last card here is our ancient future. Look at her hands, wow. Look how beautiful these hands. I'm really drawn up here to her hands. So this week, you're, I, I even feel like it would be great for everybody to even visualize this. You have a power of your own life. You are the creator of your life. What energy are you giving your life? What energy are you giving your soul? Are you doing what lights up your soul? Because it's time only you can give to your soul. Only you can give to you. You know, we can't blame others. When we blame others, we're giving our power back. Only you can give to your soul. And I see you really starting to take control. This is the, the week end that you're going to be like, wow, I got the power. I got the control. I got this. Even when drama goes on, it doesn't really matter. I got this. Um, I'm also seeing with this, breathing in a lot of healing, really work with breath work, work with water and breath work. Uh, your passion's going to start coming alive again. Yeah, I know. Aren't these cards beautiful? What are these? Uh, these ones are this ones. They're Lemarians. So that's probably why you're drawn to them. And that's what these cards are. Uh, but I see this new, um, I actually feel a new support too coming to you. So support this week. Hey, Christy. 
Support this week is going to be coming into your life too. So always call in support and it's going to be higher level support. I even feel people from your past, just like I said, past lives, um, past life people, past people. Cause anytime we're in work or retrograde, that's what happens is people from our past will be coming in. And I see that they're going to come in and help you open up your wings. So anytime you're opening up your wings, you're going to feel freer this week. Freedom to me is one of the most favorite feelings to feel. And right now we're actually getting freedom taken away from us. And many people are voluntarily giving away their freedom and knowing that once the freedom's gone, it's gone. So really listen to your intuition, wake up people, because there's so much shit going on right now with the whole COVID and control. And it's really time to we wake up and get into your alignment of your intuition and stay in the freedom. Go where your heart calls you, uh, do what your heart calls you to do. And I'm actually seeing um, throat chakra too here. I feel that there's gonna be a throat chakra. And I'm also seeing thymus. So um, this is a great way to boost your immune system up right now, right? It's just tapping right here on your thymus right here. This will help you. And I'm feeling like we all are to do that this week um, energetically too. It will clear and cleanse you. And it's also going to boost up your immune system, but it's also gonna help your throat chakra to move um, forward in your life and clear away a lot of things that need to go. All right, everybody, it looks like a fabulous week. Sorry I came on late. I was in Florida having a blast. I would suggest everybody else go. I will be back there um, probably in June time to do another retreat, but if not, I also have um, doing my Sedona retreat. So if that is something calling to you, both women and men, it'll be in May, have the final stuff. So email me, message me. I know I already have, I already have like 15 people already coming and I'm, I feel it's going to be really big, like 30 to 40 people. And it, I'm, I'm going to do it at a really nice hotel. I was just looking and people have been asking me about this. Uh, they're going to do it at a really nice hotel. We're going to do obviously a lot of healing. A lot of uh, people ask me what to do for that. So we're, when I do my retreats, is I bring you through the experience. It's much more than a retreat, it's an experience. So I will channel and we will be going into our past lives, we'll be cutting the energy cords, we'll be doing anything and everything that spirit tells me to do that you have to do. Um, you will, the biggest thing for all my retreats and many of you that have been here, hey Sandra, um, hey Trisha, you, you felt your throat clogged today, so open this up. Huge transformation and healing will happen. But the other thing I think is really cool about Sedona, Sedona's been really calling me. Uh, the cool thing is we're going to be working with the earth and the earth is the easiest way to heal and clear too. So it's going to be a big shifting. So if this is something resonates to you, please message me because I'm putting the cost. I'm putting it all together right now. And I already have 15 confirmed people and I haven't put the information up there. And I don't know how big the room will be yet. So I do have a feeling I'm going to have to limit. But no, it's going to be open to both men this time and super excited. My own fiance is coming. Uh, so I'm excited to have them in here with us. And there is going to be a lot of single people. So you never know. You could meet somebody. You could meet your twin flame, right? Um, snow i know it's snowing the beach i have to tell you the sand and the sun was amazing it was perfect weather when i was in florida so just go to florida <laughs> okay all right everybody have a beautiful week and i will see you guys soon